Even though I've lived in Scandinavia for the past two years, I just recently moved to Denmark and have been embracing a part of the culture here called Hygge. And from my understanding, it's the feeling or the atmosphere of being cozy and warm and happy and sharing experiences with others. Even though I'm Canadian and not Danish, this is something that I really wanted to embrace because getting through the winter can be tough. It's rainy, it's dark, it's cold. And so having something to lighten the mood and create a warm, cozy atmosphere is really nice to have. For me, the concept of Hygge includes so many different aspects. The first being the atmosphere that I create in my own home. Something that helps me feel more relaxed and cozy and de-stresses me is to have a minimalistic design. Having key pieces that are beautiful and subtle and not having a lot of clutter in our home. One thing I really love is having the wood stove going because the heat from it and the ambiance that it gives off is just so nice in the wintertime. I also love having furniture that adds to this atmosphere by being able to cuddle up with a warm blanket curled up on a chair or couch. Something that I found really interesting about the concept of Hygge is that it's not just the atmosphere or environment that you find yourself in, but also the activities that you do. For me, there's a few activities that really embody this whole concept. The first one probably being reading a good book, especially when I'm curled up by the wood stove reading a book. There's just nothing more comforting for me, especially in the winter. Another thing is getting outside and spending time in nature, especially when it's snowing outside. There's just something so picturesque about being outside when it's snowing, and it's really comforting and also very nostalgic. Whether I'm going outside to get wood and stack it to bring inside for the wood stove to light our fire, or whether I'm playing outside in the snow with my pup Pepsi, I just love being outside in the snow, especially when I have my warm coat on, I've put on my warm boots and scarf, and just enjoying the atmosphere outside in nature, whether it's snowing or not. Another concept of Hygge that I really love is preparing delicious, comforting food, especially when you're preparing it with other people. For me, because I live a raw food lifestyle, this specifically means making delicious food that's comforting, but is also healthy and going to make me feel good. And that could be something as decadent as making raw pancakes in the dehydrator and drizzling them with maple syrup, of course, because I'm Canadian, uh, to having a fresh juice or chopping veggies and making a beautiful, delicious salad that's very filling and satisfying. It could also be the process of making warm, delicious, comforting tea, putting the hot water in your kettle with the tea bags and then sharing that tea with other people. One of the most important aspects of Hygge, at least from my understanding, is sharing all of these experiences, whether it's the atmosphere that you're in or the activity that you're doing, with other people. Having loved ones around, whether they're family or friends, is going to enrich any experience. Whether you're just inside in a beautiful atmosphere together that's very welcoming by the wood stove, or whether you're out on a walk in the forest together, or preparing and eating delicious food together. The whole concept of Hygge for me, especially in the winter, is being able to find a way to enjoy and embrace the darkness where you can go inwards and spend more time indoors, enjoying these kinds of experiences with yourself or with other people. My understanding of Hygge might not be the same as others because I'm not from Denmark and I'm still new to Danish culture, but I think the most important part of this, regardless of where you live in the world and how your culture differs from Danish culture, is to find some way to enjoy the winter season and to feel cozy and warm and happy. With that being said, I would love to know if there's something that you do during the winter months to bring Hygge or more coziness and comfort into your life. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time.